What's up everybody? Welcome back. It's Henry Off Limits and I'm back with another video. Ah, I'm really up in the mountains again and I'm about to go and explore LA-88 missile site. It was a military missile base that was in operation from 1957 to 1974 and has been abandoned since then. Now I'm about to go and explore it and I'm already tired because I've been hiking up for 10 minutes already. And I still got like like about a mile to go. So I'll meet you guys at the top. And I'll tell you all about the place. <sighs> All right guys, I made it to the top. That was a lot, man. Oh, I hate hikes. I can run for like 20, 30 minutes or do like a bunch of sprints, but hikings get the most of me, man. Damn. Well, well here we are. Like I said at the bottom, this is LA-88 missile site that was in operation from 1957 to 1974. And the history about this place is quite simple. It was built to protect the LA area or the US from any attacks that would come from the air by the Soviet Union. Cause back in the days, that was when the Cold War was happening and the, the US was in war with the Soviet Union. So it was during that time that um, they kept missiles here and they were supposed to launch them if they, they uh, detected any enemy aircraft approaching to the area. So I'm about, to, I'm about to go down and explore it. I think it's like a two-parter type of place cause um, behind me there's like another structure but the main thing that I saw online and you know all the videos, it's right here. That's the famous bus that's in this place. And then there's another structure right there too that I'm about to go check it out. But let's see what we can find. Oh God, that's a very old bus. I wonder what was the reason they brought it here. Why would you bring, unless it was like, unless it was for the, for the people that used to work here. You know, they they would probably use the bus to bring them up so they didn't have to walk. Lucky bastards. Oh, and look at all those holes right there. I think there's a bullet holes. Oh yeah, I think they are because I remember seeing um, a video that they were saying that they used to do like like a practice over here and they, were used, to, they used to shoot at the bus. I guess just to practice aim. And look at how many holes the bus, poor bus has. Yeah, so that's what I'm guessing they used to, they used the bus for. You know, they would bring the employees or all the, not employees, but all the soldiers and the um, operators up the, the mountains because I'm really I'm really at the top of the mountains if you guys can see I'm on the top of the mountain but yeah check this out it's an old rusted bus there's nothing left that's what I'm you know what I'm actually I'm actually gonna go and sit I'm gonna go sit in this cr rusted old bus mm-hmm I would be the conductor bringing people up well, let's go in there and check the place out. As you can tell from, from all the graffiti, the place has been abandoned for a while. There's like another floor there, but there's no way to go up. Well, actually there is, but I don't think that's very safe to go up because that's wood. I'm not sure if they, if they can support my weight. I'm glad I came during <laughs> during the day this time because you guys can see everything. I'm not even sure what this is. It looks like an empty storage place, garage maybe. Maybe this is where they used to put the bus. So, all right, so that's the first building. And let's see what else is in here. There's like a place with like a hole that goes underground. If it's open, you can actually go in there and explore the place like they, where they used to keep the missiles. But I'm just not seeing it around here. Maybe it's not here. Oh, we got a we got a car and not a bus, but we got a car and another um, what it looks like uh, storage. Kind of looks like the same thing 
That's the other one. Yeah, just more empty space. And there's a car. It's a small car though. Maybe the place that I'm talking about is on the other side because um, there was like a structure on the left of the road. This is actually on the right side of the road. So I'm going to have to go back because I have to get down there. That's the whole reason that I came because I really wanted to go in there because, you know, I couldn't get it. I couldn't really get to the bottom of the bunker, San Pedro. So I see a lot of people going in there and it actually looks really cool. So this is where the bus is. Let's say bye to this and then let's, let's go to the other side. So I think that's where I need to go. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like another something over there. That's probably, that's probably where I need to go. But when I was coming up, I noticed there's one more structure here. This one right here, so I'm gonna go in there and, and see uh, if there's anything interesting in there. I think it's just something small. There's nothing left here. I think it's just like a. Oh, never mind. Hello? Can you guys see anything? Jesus. Now this is very interesting. Wow, this place is really dark. Like a bunch of wood. Oh God. No, no, nothing. But just a bunch of wood and like, I don't know, like, Cabinets and uh, what well, is this place is really dark. Just so you guys can see what it looks like without the light. There's nothing here. And every time I do these videos and I'm approaching the door, I get the feeling that somebody's gonna come out and jump out and give me the biggest care of my life. Yeah, just a bunch of stands. Baptism? Hmm. I shouldn't be here too long because there's like a very of like a very old smell. And I I didn't bring a mask. There's nothing here, guys. Let's get out of here. <coughs> Shit, it's making me cut. Oh, wow. Wide open. I thought it was gonna be gated, or like the gates were gonna be closed. If security comes, I don't get in trouble anymore. I was wondering if this place was actually gonna be, um, you know, no trespassing, but apparently a lot of people come here, so. I had to do it. I'm not gonna lie, I was lost for a minute. I had to pull out my phone and it took me a while because there's no signal here, so. But I think I found it. So this is where they kept all the missiles. Right here. They're like, they're like doors or like um, holes on the ground where the missiles, the missiles will come up. And uh, if they detected anything, uh, unidentified flying object, they would like launch the missiles and bring them down. Like this is part of the platforms and just like this there's like like a bunch more and I really have to find that hole. Hey but this is actually a really cool place if you guys want to come out. I don't even know how I got here I just follow the, the map GPS and um, I think I'm in Chatsworth California. I took the, the 118 west. I'm not even sure where I'm at. I just started driving. So let's see. So as you guys can see, there's nothing out here. I really have to find that thing so I can go down. 
I thought it was this right here. Well, perhaps. Maybe I did. Is it this thing? No. Can't really go in there. Am I at the right place? God, man. Because it wouldn't make sense for all this to be here if there was no way to go underneath. Maybe on this one over here. And also, if you guys want to come out here, you got to watch out for rattlesnakes. Because um, a bunch of people were uh, saying that they saw they see a lot of rattlesnakes when they, when they came out here. I didn't see anything. I haven't seen anything, but... Um, if you're walking between the grass, wear pants or anything to protect yourself. So this is what I'm talking about. This is like, like sealed off, but there has to be, I'm sure there is something where I can go down. God, I'm going to be furious if I don't find it. But I know that it has to be here. Well, I'm not seeing... What I'm looking for, so... God, man, this is gonna suck if I don't find that. But I already look all around the place and I can't find it. So what I'm assuming is that all those videos that I, that I watched, those were from like three, four years ago. So what I'm assuming is they already covered everything that was here before. Unless there's a possibility that I'm at the wrong place. Because I know it is, there's a path over there too that goes around those trees and then it goes down. So I'm gonna have to go there and see and check that out. But um, I think I'm not, if this is the place, is this where that hole was, the one that I'm looking for, then I'm already screwed. Cause everything is covered guys. So let's go follow that path and see where, where it goes. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. This is the path that I saw, and it kind of looks like it leads to nowhere, but if there's cement here, that means that there's some. there must be something down there, so let me just follow it. Only problem is that I've been here for like an hour already looking for that place, and I have not seen a single soul. So that means that I'm the only one here. There was a car that passed by like 30 minutes ago that went down, but I haven't seen anybody, anybody else since then, so. I'm getting a little concerned, but let's just keep going all the way down. Oh yeah, there's something over there. It's like another structure. And then this fence means that there's something on the other side. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look right there. Not what I was looking for, but it's going to help for the video. <laughs> God. Let's go up there and see what that is. Hmm. Kind of looks like a tank. Some kind of machine or something. Not even sure what this is though. Never seen anything like this before. Oof. And there's like, there's another one over there too. See what I'm talking about? Look at all the holes in this wall. What do you think those are? Do you think those are rocks? No, sir. Those are bullet holes. Yeah, there's nothing out here, guys. Man. The only other thing that I have to explore is just that right there. What in the world is this? Oh, kind of look like cages over here. Maybe they used to keep animals, yeah. Looks like cages. For what though? What was the purpose? Why are you gonna keep animals at a military missile base? If you guys know, Please comment down below and let me know. Yeah, but I came all the way down to the bottom of the of the place, so I'm gonna have to go back up and get out of here, cause there's nothing. God, I think I came too late. Jesus. <sighs> I 
I think I found it. I had to go back to where the, the bus was and then keep going straight because that's one thing that I didn't do. I didn't, there was another path that I needed to go to the right of the building, so, and I forgot about that. I, after I explored the first building, I went to uh, the place where the little car was and then I forgot about the other path, so I think this is where I needed to come. But this is what I was looking for. Now this looks familiar. Yeah, and that's where the, those were the gates that would like open up. Now these are the actual gates or whatever you want to call these. So these would like open up and then the missiles would come up and then they will launch them. And is this where I need to go? I'm not sure if that's where I need to go, but there's something here that it's supposed to open and you can actually go inside. Well, let's keep looking for that thing, guys. Check this out. There's another bus here. <laughs> now this one is, I think it's a little bigger than the other one. Yeah, this is definitely bigger than the other one. And I think it's in worse condition than the, than the first one. God, man, I can't find that thing. Like this is the right place. This is exactly where I need to be, but I can't find a, like a hatch, whatever you want to call it, like little hole entrance to go down. No, I'm not gonna find that here. Look, there's like a hole over here. We can kind of like see what, oh, maybe I can go through there. This kind of looks a little, little dangerous though. Well, let me see if I can have a little peek at the place. Let me see if I can get through this hole right here. I was gonna have to leave the bag out here though. Fortunately, there's nobody out here that can come and take my things away. Well, let's see, I'm gonna need the flashlight for this though. All right, let's go guys. Uh, you guys first. Can you see anything? Oh, look, that's where I needed to go. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at how big this place is. This is where they would keep the plane, the, not the planes, but the, the missiles. And that thing where they would, op would open up and then they would launch. Sucks that I can't find a, an opening to go down there. But this looks a so dangerous though. Alright, let me get out. Could that be the entrance? I don't remember seeing this in the videos, but hopefully it's not covered. Oh god. I think it is. I was looking for something else, but. Uh, oh, that's what I was looking for. Right over there. That thing right there, that's what I was looking for. Well, let's go in here and see what, what's down there. All right, guys, I'm going down the, the base. You stay with me, because this is about to get dark. And you know what? I'm actually gonna put on my, my sweatshirt on my face because I don't want to breathe whatever is down there. If you guys come out here and want to do this, make sure you guys bring a mask. Hello? used to sleep. See how beds. There's nothing in there. And just like this, there's a lot more. But this is not where they used to keep the, or maybe it is, I'm not sure. 
And you say, oh yeah, that's kind of like, look, this is the elevator thing. The elevator platform, you can see it right there. The missiles, they, they would mount the missiles here and then bring them up and that thing right there would open. Man, this place is so cool. Yeah, and it smells really bad, but... What the hell was that? I thought there was somebody up there. It sounded like somebody was up there walking. Yeah, look at all this. <laughs> what a creepy, creepy place. But then still, look, a lot of people come here and just chill, drink, and do God knows what else. But this is it, I made it. Vineland. Island boys. Or island boys. I don't know. But there you guys have it. I came out and explored the LA 88 missile site. It's actually, I think it's called, I think it's actually called LA 88 Nike missile, Nike missile, or something like that. Man, I did it. Man, I was feeling sad. I was already feeling disappointed that I couldn't find this, the entrance to, to this place. But let me see if I can go in the other one. All right, let's go up and get out of here. Man, that smells really bad. It smells like old, like dust and wood. Yeah. This is exactly what I was looking for. Look, there's a hole and there's a ladder to go down. But that's pretty much the same thing. I was, I was, I was just in there. Hey, but I'm glad that I didn't have to go down this way. Cause that, that other way is, it was easier. Less dangerous. Hey, but I did it. Man, I'm glad. I'm happy that I found it. God, I was, I was ready. I was already giving up. But then I was like, Damn, unless it's on the other side. I knew I had to find it. So I did it, guys. There you guys have it. And look, if you guys wanna come out here, uh, sun is about to go down. And look at how beautiful the view is from here. That's why a lot of people come here, just to chill. And you also have the valley here. That's the view of the valley right there. The view of the mountains over there. There's like control towers over there. Those are, but uh, I think it's time for me to go back. Let me just get out of here because I don't want to be here after dark. The place is already creepy with uh, sunlight. Imagine after dark. And I'm in the middle of the mountains too. What the hell am I going to be doing here at night? So let's just get out of here. Let me see if I can just go through here because I don't want to go around. No, screw it. I'm just going to jump it. Ah! You know, before I started filming, I parked my car and then there was a there was a, there was a guy talking to a girl and um, I thought he was a ranger so I was like hey excuse me are you the ranger and he was like I'm just acting out right so they saw me mounting the camera on the tripod they came to me the dude was like like almost almost a grandpa dressed like a ranger and then the lady had a had a goat that she was walking had a goat on a leash and i thought it was a dog so i was like oh man i thought it was a dog and then she was like yeah i got that all the time so they started talking to me telling me things like so how do you want to start where do you want us to be what sort of intro are you going to do and i was like the hell they're talking about and then i was like oh man no i just came out here because i wanted to go to the nike missile site and explored it and I'm actually gonna make a video about it I'm gonna vlog it and then he was like wait you're not the sound guy and I was so confused I was really confused at that I really I had no idea what they were talking about but then I was like oh you know what no I'm not are you guys working on a project or something and then he was like yeah we're shooting a video a music video and then I was like oh it makes sense so 
I was just like, you know what? I'm, I've never been to this place. This is my first time that I come here. So I'm just, I'm not part of the project. And they were like, oh man, sorry. We thought you were, we thought you were the, the sound guy. And I was like, yeah, like kind of makes sense, right? They saw me putting the mic on the camera and mounting the camera on a tripod. So it actually felt good. <laughs> that actually felt really good that they thought that I was the sound guy. But I think that's it, guys. I'm about to go down, hike for like another 15 minutes. Hike down this time. If I see them shooting the video, the music video, I'll probably get them on camera, but this is the end of the video. You guys, there, you guys have it. I explored the LA-88 Nike missile site up in uh, Chatsworth. I'm not, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. But don't forget to like the video, leave a comment if you guys saw anything that I didn't see or just any comments if you guys like the video. If you guys don't like the video, just leave a comment and uh, subscribe to the channel. You guys already know. And I'll catch you on the next video. Ciao. Those are the guys with the music video. That's the guy that kind of looks like a ranger. <laughs>